I have been asked a lot about kettlebells in the open and what they're gonna do with the kettlebells in the open. And my guess is not this. Ten toes down and we're out. morning. Let's get up, buddy. Let's get up. You want food? Food? <laughs> well, that does it. Good morning. Well, at least it is morning here and I've been getting my breakfast ready. I've had some people before ask me about what I eat in a day. We're not doing that today, but I figured I'd show you what I eat before training, especially on a bigger training day. Like today, we kind of have a lot of stuff to do. So you kind of saw me put it together, but a uh, big thing I have is some high protein yogurt here. I believe it's called Oikos Pro Vanilla Yogurt. And then I put some granola that also has protein in it. So this here is close to 30 grams of protein in the yogurt and uh, the granola. So some extra carbs there too. I like to get a lot of protein in in the morning because it can be hard to get in throughout the day. Um, just if you get behind, like you're stuck eating a ton of protein later. So it's nice to get a big amount of protein early in the day if I can. And this is a pretty decent amount of protein. Then I also have some multigrain toast here, which also has a little bit of protein in it. I believe it's like five or 10 grams for the two pieces, either five for one or five for two. If it's five for two, then 10 grams here, which is really good to put me close to 40 grams just for breakfast. Um, but then it's also got carbs, obviously, and some fat because I put some butter on there. So just a lot of stuff to keep me full and focused and just ready to take on the workout because there's a lot of lifting, there's a Metcon. So I just like to have a lot of fuel so that I'm not feeling hungry during the workout. And it'll probably be like an hour before I even get into any like stretching and stuff because I have to get changed for the gym and I have to drive there So, but and warmed up. So by the time I'm actually lifting, it's gonna be an hour from now. So this all has time to digest before I really get to doing much. I also have some, uh, caffeine here because I need a little bit of caffeine. I prefer a little bit of caffeine in the morning. So this is just some C4, I think it's blue raspberry and just helps me, you know, get going. Feel awake from my workouts, I'm ready to go. I also have water because water is just always important. I was drinking that while I was making my breakfast. So we're gonna eat this and get going. Okay, it was super loud inside, so I decided to come out here real quick. Just to brief you on how we're starting out this training session. So there's a lot of strength today for the RX Plus, and then we're gonna go into a Metcon. So for that strength, we've got <laughs> like a grease the groove, so it's not like max effort. It's only up to 65 to 75% of a snatch complex. Then we have clean and jerks for a double, at least a double clean, single jerk, back squats, so my legs are gonna be dead after today. And then a Metcon, which includes thrusters. Wish me luck. I'm trying to work on some extra core work at the beginning to warm up. I'm trying to like engage my core because are things that aren't specifically core that involve the core, like lifting, I have more trouble recruiting 
those core muscles. Like a GHD sit up, totally fine. But if it's something that's not as like obviously core, struggle. Just went a little bit heavier than the percentage. And that's because for me, I really need more confidence at those heavier percentages. If I don't hit them occasionally, I feel like I can never hit them. So happy that I hit it. Uh, what I wanted to hit, and it's probably like, I don't know, close to 90%, but did it for two and a jerk. So wins, now back squats. So for the wad today, we have a movement I have never done before, which is a dual kettlebell thruster. And I have been asked a lot about kettlebells in the open and what they're gonna do with the kettlebells in the open. And my guess is not this. Also, my guess would be that kettlebells are not going to be in the open. They're going to be in quarterfinals. And why I definitely think they wouldn't be doing dual kettlebell thrusters in the open is because that's a lot of kettlebell equipment for a lot of gyms to have. And I doubt they have that much. And the kettlebell weights start at 35s. There are three weights up to 70, I believe. Um, but 35 is the lightest weight, and there's no way that the scaled and foundations groups are doing the 35 pound double kettlebell thruster for the women. So, <laughs> could be in quarterfinals, and it could be this movement, but it's definitely not gonna be in the open. I just really can't see that. Well, I guess I can't say definitely. I don't know anything. I didn't program these workouts, but I, knowing the history and how long I've been a part of this, I would be shocked if this was the movement in the open. Toes down, I'm around with the gang. My whole life, I've been doing my thing. Get that money, ain't no thing. Anything I do, I do it for the gang. Ten toes down, I'm around with the gang. My whole life, I've been doing my thing. Get that money, ain't no thing. Anything I do, I do it for the gang. Anything I do, I do it for the gang. Took those L's and I took that blame. All money in, we ain't copping no chain. Feel like ice cool, cause the dead good day. Can't say he had a paper straight. Couldn't 
99, I think. Just finished that up, and what I will say about those dual kettlebell thrusters is it wasn't quite as hard or as bad as I thought it was gonna be, so that was a win. Um, but I would say that dumbbell thrusters, double dumbbell thrusters, are a little bit easier, I think, than the kettlebells because the dumbbell weight is just situated a little bit better. It's just spaced out better, a little bit in the front, a little bit in the back, where this is like all on the side. So I think it does take a little bit more core stability and just stability in your shoulders to keep them in the right place. Or I guess if you're just like massively strong, then it's not too bad, but I've got these Bambi legs and did all those squats beforehand. So definitely a little bit harder for me, I think, than dumbbell thrusters would have been, but not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The GHD was good. I like GHD sit-ups. Moving that GHD was not easy. It has wheels on the back, so that was gonna be able to push it, but uh, you have to be tall enough, I guess, to get it onto its wheels, and I was not. Luckily, somebody helped me. And the chest bar were okay. I need to get better at butterflying my chest bar. I can butterfly my pull-ups, but that little extra distance for the chest bar leaves me usually kipping. So that's something I need to work on. But overall, pretty happy with the workout. It was either like a 648, 649 time on it. I did have to break up those dumbbell thrusters into sets of two the last two rounds. First round, I went unbroken, but I was fresh. So things change as you go, but I tried to keep it two rounds. Also, I slammed my thumb in between the dumbbells when bringing them back down. So if you try this or try any sort of double kettlebell thruster, um, when you bring those kettlebells down, I might have said dumbbells before, I meant kettlebells. So you take those kettlebells down, they kind of swing. Uh, watch out for your thumbs smashing in between the top of the bell. Other than that, we're like a week from the open, like, which is insane. It's almost here. If you're not signed up, you should definitely sign up. It's a good time. It's good to test your fitness. This is my ninth open, which is also nuts that I've been doing this that long. Always fun though. Don't always improve but that's just part of the nature of having done this for so many years. If you're new, everything's a PR. So if you've never done it before, just signing up will be a PR. So definitely do that. I appreciate you all for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see me do the open because I'll be tracking all of that for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, my hands are still chalky. Bye.